Good morning children. Today we shall learn about plastics. We all use articles made of plastics like bag, containers, bucket, mug, utensils, even furniture. Plastic toys are very common. You know plastic is actually a polymer like synthetic fiber. In few plastic monomers are arranged in a chain like beads in case of necklace. In few plastics monomers are cross linked instead of the linear arrangement. Polythene that is poly plus ethene is an example of a plastic. It is used for making commonly used polythene bags or the plastic covers which we call. But have you ever thought why plastics are so popular? Metals like iron gets rusted when left exposed to moisture and air. But plastics do not react with water and air. They are not corroded easily. So we can say plastics are non-reactive and do not react with chemicals very easily. So it is ideal for making containers. Plastic containers are also used to keep chemicals. Plastic is very durable. It is also very flexible and can be given any shape. So plastic is used widely from making toys to making furniture. Plastic is used to make switchboards, base of bulbs, body of electric appliances, coating over electric wires. This is because plastic is an insulator. On the other hand, we see plastic handles on cookware as it doesn't get hot while we are cooking. This means plastics are poor conductor of heat too. You know, not all plastics are same in properties and strength. If you hold a ruler made of plastic near candle flame, it will become soft and will bend easily. Few bottles or containers get deformed if we pour hot liquid in these plastic containers. Such plastics that get deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastics. Polythene, PVC etc. are common thermoplastics that use regularly. On the other hand, there are some plastics which when molded once cannot be softened by heating. These are called thermosetting plastics. For example, Bakelite. Cookware handles are made of Bakelite, so these handles don't get soft when heated. Another example of thermosetting plastic is melamine. Body of electric appliances like iron, TV, radio, keyboard, etc. are made of melamine. Melamine is used to make utensils, dinnerware, containers, etc. Melamine is flame resistant and can tolerate heat better than other plastics. Hence, it is used to make floor, furniture, fabric, etc. As we saw, plastic is very useful. Then, why its use is discouraged? You know, plastic takes several years to decompose and it is considered as non-biodegradable and it causes land pollution. Also, the burning of plastic releases lots of poisonous fumes into the atmosphere causing air pollution. That is why today people are encouraged to take reusable carry bags made of cotton, jute etc. for shopping 
instead of plastic covers or bags which we throw away after use and cause land pollution. So, the use of plastic should be reduced. Plastic jars, bottles, cans, etc. should be reused as far as possible. They should be recycled to make other things. How do we do this? Don't throw all the kitchen waste, paper, plastic, all the wet and dry waste together in one dustbin. Don't burn the plastic waste. Keep the plastic waste separate. Later in the factory, the same plastic can be converted into new plastic things. The new plastic is called the recycled plastic. So, in summary, reduce the use of plastic, reuse and recycle plastic as much as you can. Now you know a lot about plastic. To sum up what we learned today, what are the characteristics of plastics? Plastic is non-reactive. Plastic is light, strong and durable. Plastics are poor conductors. Plastics are non-biodegradable. So, reduce, reuse and recycle plastic. That's all for today. Bye-bye.